Hey guys, just want to share a tip I have for someone like me who is getting tired of every time you um, connect via Bluetooth to your car, it auto plays the last thing that you were listening to. And I'm not sure why manufacturers think this is a feature that a bunch of people want, but it definitely um, can be annoying for some people, especially um, just getting in and out of your car a lot. And um, so here's a little uh, trick I found using the Tasker app. Um, before you do this trick, I recommend you go into your apps um, settings to see if there's a way to turn it off in there. There may be, um, or check your software on your car um, user interface to see if there's a way to turn off the autoplay after Bluetooth Connect. Um, in my experience, most cars, um, software, and most applications um, do not have this feature, um, but it may, so it's worth checking before because that would be a better solution. So um, to get started, uh, we're going to have to download this app called Tasker. It's a few bucks, um, but it's worth it, especially if you have an Android. Um, it can help out with a lot of things. So let's get started. You just click on Tasker. And then you're going to um, create a new profile. So this one I have up here at the top is the one that I use for this scenario. But I'm going to go through the motions and um, create a duplicate one just to show you how to do it. So you're going to go to the bottom. Once you're sure you're over in the profiles section, and you're going to click the plus sign to create a new profile. You're going to click create. Then you're going to go over to state and click on state. You're going to go to net. And then you're going to go to Bluetooth connected. Okay. Now over by name and address on the right, you see the search icons. Make sure your Bluetooth is on. And then you'll click on both of those. and choose whichever device that you're wanting to uh, use this on. I'm going to use my Toyota Prius because that's the car that it does it on and for the address as well. And then we're just going to um, hit the back button now. So we've got the profile. We just need to add the task. So let's go to new task and you can type in whatever you want or you can type in nothing at all. It would work either way. And now we're going to add an action, hit the plus sign at the bottom. Okay, and then from here, we're going to go to media. And then we're going to click the top one, media button events. And then it's going to um, grab, and it should be on grab by default. So you don't really have to do anything here. You just click back. And now previously, I've seen um, people um, in the past say that this is all that they've done and it has worked but in my experience it has not i tried it and it did not work so the way that i got it to work was i added one more task and that was a beep so go to the bottom right again and click the plus sign now you're going to click the top alert and then click the top again that says beep that's all there is to it so I usually uh, would go down to where it says amplitude and take that down to 10% or less um, just to uh, so it's not as loud when it starts in that range. And then from here, you're basically done. You're going to hit the back button. And then you are going to hit the back button again. And that's all there is to it. You can rename that whatever you want um, you can turn it off and on whenever you want um, when it is connected to bluetooth in your car you will see an icon at the very top and it will show you a tasker icon that says hey this is working um, so you can see and then these letters will turn green as well when it is actually hooked up to bluetooth and working 
Now that's all there is to it. And you will hear a little beep when um, your car connects to the Bluetooth instead of hearing whatever music or podcast you were listening to last. Um, very useful, very helpful. Um, the only thing is on your screen inside your car, it won't auto populate uh, whatever you were listening to last. Um, so you'll have to go into your phone and push play on whatever it was just the first time um, to get it going. And then after that, everything should work as normal on your screen, in your car, and on your phone. Um, I hope this helps you guys. Um, if you have any questions, um, let me know. I'm not an expert on this. I did find out the information online, but it took me a while. So hopefully this will uh, be a, a quick fix for others as it was for me once I had it figured out. Thanks so much. Let me know in the comments if it helped you and good luck.